Hi guys, welcome Hi. back. <laughs> I've got Mama here with me again today. How are you, Mama? You okay? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's sorry she wasn't here last time where you have to yeah. the retreat, but yeah. um, we are back with a fun-filled video, um, mainly on Mama's side. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, it is August the 30th today. I have no idea what number floss tube is. I think it's 35 and it's about half one in the afternoon and yeah we're here to record a, a floss tube yeah so we're going to start with um finishes today i don't have any mama has some though mama's got some ffos and an not FO. many not many don't, it's more than me don't get them going <laughs> don't get them going it's not much <laughs> well, we've, got, we've got some fos so yeah we're, we're going to show them first and we've got a couple of people to shout out um and then we'll pause and we'll come back and show you our whips okay um do you want to start with shout outs or yeah shout out so um i've recently found something called mama bear stitchery which you guys probably all have heard of before i'm addicted to this lady she, <laughs> she's gone all through a back catalog i'm halfway through up to about 27 she's enabled me with so many projects she is such a quick stitcher <laughs> i don't know how she does it she does have it and she completes things so she hasn't got loads she's lots of whips i think she's in the 80s or 90s <laughs> but she Many finishes projects and um i thought she, she was really amazing enjoying her. yeah really enjoying it so um she's just enabled me to go and buy a carolyn manning pattern yeah, and, just bought that. And, and fabric and all sorts was so, it stained glass window yeah stained, stained glass, glass window, window. so That's gorgeous. um i'm halfway through a back catalogue but i highly <clears> recommend her and last time when i was here i didn't shout out amy loves toes oh, i absolutely love adore a uh, lot of her <clears> um finishes are uh, animal related yeah. she loves reptiles obviously amy loves toads as a type so <laughs> that gives you a bit of a clue um i love her they love um, no amy and obviously you're going to men mention oh yeah we wanted to mention um a new floss tuber who we met at the last retreat which is just so sherry yeah um sherry is such a lovely lady me and her managed to get like a few moments together on our own um just taking a breather from the retreat and we put the world to right didn't we sherry so yeah i just want to give a big shout out because her floss tube is brilliant and she's so funny so I just wanted to let you know that she's out there and to go check her out and give us some uh, big cross stitch uh, support. <laughs> so yeah, yeah but just so sharing. Very funny, very funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anyone else you wanted to mention that you forgot no, last think, time? Uh, I think I think that's it. There probably be somebody else afterwards. There's millions of people, isn't there? Um, yeah. At the yeah. minute, that's it. That's fine. I had a big list last time, didn't I? Lovely. Okay, so do you want to show me your beautiful finishes? Yeah, so this is a finish. Um, it's an FFO, guys. An FFO. This is the one for the friend. So this is for my, a friend who doesn't stitch. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you're better. Yeah, it's not glaring as much. So it's from the Blue Flower. It's Greyhound Calendar. Um, it was a bit of a nightmare, if I'm honest. Um, when you're not stitching something for yourself it's really difficult you don't always love it as much as you would do if it was something for yourself the framing was a nightmare the <laughs> frame was a nightmare i didn't like the color when i had it made i had to paint it you painted this bit yeah didn't you? yeah so i'm hoping it comes out it's on 18 count i think it's flow linen. yeah that rings a bell. Um, i was doing it two over two but I dropped down to one over one, rightly or wrongly so. I've changed a I couple of colours. Great. Um, I hope she likes it. It's for a special birthday. And she's greyhound mad, isn't and she? And she's got two greyhounds that she rescues and she's a big animal lover. So I'm hoping she'll like it when she gets it for a big birthday. I think it's done. And those who remember, you were remember last time you were trying to work out because some of the squares were um kind of more american themed so you were trying to change some things yeah you remember what you did in the so end? i don't think i february i put the hearts where they had what did they have in february it wasn't valentine's it was something it's to do with abraham lincoln i think oh so mum's put, so the, hearts. put the hearts there instead was July, 4th of july was um, there a firework or something yeah, I, I kept that because it's obviously the, uh, yeah, like a, the nice. I could have done one down Did there. You make I changed the colour of the dog because he was white and I couldn't. He was just not showing up. Um, oh, and in November, I, I I did the little bonfire sort of rocket thing because it was a turkey. So that's where the changes yeah, you yeah, made. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous, though. Yeah, but I do love it. It is. It is quite detailed. Look at yeah, yeah. on the wall. She's. I love August. That. August tickles me with the fan. With the fan, and he's wearing the, the light belt. 
<laughs> I don't think it's August in the UK. No, no. <laughs> it's been a bit of a rubbish summer. Yeah, so that's the fully finished that I did. I am glad. This is, I know, I mean, I can't say this word, meteorologically. Yes. It's not the end of summer. I think it's mid-September, but this is the last day of the month the, of summer. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm all ready to put all autumn this weekend. Yeah, well, some people celebrate autumn 1st of September and some say it's the 21st of September. So, it, it yeah, it, I go off the months. When you put your autumn stuff up? Uh, after a holiday. Probably, oh, yeah. I think. I think yeah. I no, I'm doing it this and weekend. And then you're going to finish your hat. And it's just a very quick finish that it's I did. Gorgeous. Um, I had a Gloriana thread that I'd never used. I bought a couple of years ago. Um, and when one day I was fed up with my whips and I came back <laughs> for a, a, a day out, we went to Arley Hall, which is fantastic, by the way, if you get a chance to go. Um, we went to Arley Hall. I come back and I said, I'm not stitching on anything that's in that basket. <laughs> I'm just going to start something. So I started this, which is a Liz Matthews freebie. You probably have all seen this. But the thread, oh, I've never used it before. Oh, and it was it's sitting point. upstairs. And I love the colours. They go from like a blue to a mauve to a green. Victorian Garden. And it's Victorian Garden by Gloriana. But if I put this a bit near as well. And it was just on some antique at 32 count. I think it's, it's such there. a lovely variegation. It's but the thread was gorgeous to stitch with. So that's the only sort of little stitch and I've not framed it yet. I will, I've got a, a basket full of things to sort of finish, but I haven't done it I yet. I think it's stunning though for just like a, it's one of those with just the threads just yeah, made Yeah, I could just sit and stitch it and not be bothered. It was just lovely, lovely. It's lovely. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And that's all the finishes. That was quite quick, cool, six minutes. Have you got no finishes then? No. Shame on you. I know. <laughs> I've, I've got, I've barely got whips at this point. Um, yeah, no, I've got no finishes. So, so what happened to me in August, guys, is, so, you remember last video I said I think I'm getting a cold? Well, I did. So I got a cold, so that put me behind. And then for those who watch um, often, will know I'm really focused on Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. So um, I, any time I did stitch, it was on that piece because I had a goal of getting the porch done so I would just be left the roof september so i'll show you that in a minute um and then i'm doing a bit of secret stitching um i will go into more detail on that in a future video but that is another reason why my progress for want of a better word is a bit naff at the moment <laughs> um <laughs> and i'm yeah i'm maybe not doing a video as often but mama had a lot to show so i wanted to you know it's been a long time already since you did the last video so i wanted to i think it's about three months is it three four months already yeah yeah so i definitely wanted mama to be able to show her show her pieces and yeah. then i'll just throw mine in but there's really not much progress yeah that's fine okay we'll just pause here guys and we'll go and just pat this up and get our whips and then we'll be back with the the second section see you in a minute bye, bye guys I've got the beverages. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're back with the whips. We had the coffee. And coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. We're doing whips. Um, we're going to... Mum's got more than me. So <laughs> we're, we're going to do like two to a one type ratio. Um, Not quite, but you know, you've got more whips in anyway. So, some of you may remember, I don't know if you saw my, oh, very, my only floss tube with Lauren, that <laughs> I was working on Chris Dunn's um, knitting, circle. knitting circle. I haven't got a picture actually. I can put one here over Mama's face. Oh, okay, my. that's a good idea. And the picture of knitting circle when it's finished. Yeah. Um, and I was my plan was to finish it by the end of the year because it's my oldest whip and it's the first one that Lauren ever bought me. Um, but but <laughs> come mid year, I thought mm, I'm not really going to have that up for Christmas, and I've got plans for Christmas things <laughs> that I want doing. So if I don't drop it plus another full coverage which I was doing, which is Tree of Life, Yeah. then I'm going to end up having problems. Plus, I'm trying to do something for She Who May Not Be Named as a gift for Christmas. And Ooh. She Who May Not Be Named for a birthday present, uh, for a big birthday next year. So there, I, I'm stuck with those. And plus, I was still working on the Greyhound. Oh, what, you doing so, that for me? No, no. no. Why is She Who May Not Be Named? She Who May Not Be Named. Me? No, you were the member, oh. the older one. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were about me. No. <laughs> she who may not be named. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nana Flossabutters. Nana Flossabutters. <laughs> so, um, I dropped the sheep, 
But I know some people are, are doing the sheep, and I just wanted to show you where I got to. It was almost yeah. 70%. It was like 68.4. So it is, it is coming along. Oh, it's a more blanket. Um, Do you want to hold it over my face? You can talk about yeah, it. Yeah, and when I've got these projects that are for other people out of the way, I will definitely finish it. Yeah. You're so close. I'm, I'm a lot closer than what I was. And I, I, the reason I got close on this is that I was very persistently doing 150 stitches a day. Sometimes I did more, occasionally I did less, but I, I, I nearly went on every single day by about two or three days in a month. And it's the only way to keep chipping at it. It looks so good on camera. It's filthy. It's, it's, <laughs> it's filthy. It needs well, a wash. you can watch one of my videos with the guidelines and I'll yes. wash them. Oh, I can do it. I can... I've been brave for a zone oh, and shrink... put it in kettle, just boil yeah, water. Yeah, that shrunk my something. They things, do shrink so, them slightly, so, yeah. but that's the only way to get the grid on. So that's, that's Chris Dunn's Knitting circle. Knitting circle. 25 count. 25 count. Easy one over guide. One over one. I'm not one. mad like Lauren. I'm two. not. Two over one. <laughs> I like to really work for it, you know. Work? You need a hammer and chisel. <laughs> so that's, that's this knitting circle. So you can show one of yours now. Oh, can I? Yeah. Oh, God. Right, I'll show this little start. So if those who remember last month, um, I said on the 31st, when a, when a 31st falls on a month, I'm making that my flush tube friend stitching. Um, so today is the 31st, so mm -hmm. we're filming the afternoon. So I actually managed to get a start this morning. Oh, I see. On, You're not as bad um, as you <laughs> I had a little baby start um, on the, I'll put a picture here, the potting shed. So this is a pattern by Little uh, Lizzie Loops. Sorry, Little Loops Stitching, it's called yeah. now. Little Loops Stitching, which is um, Sammy, and she is the designer. And this was made for the 2023 retreat that we just went to. So just as a kind of nice way of remembering it, I wanted to um, make a start. And on the 31st of every month, I will pull this out. So this is my little start. I only got about 168 it's stitches It's lovely. It's smaller in. than what I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, no, it's, only, it's about here, about to here. So what count is it? This is 28 count, right. and um, I can't give you the name of the fabric, but it's a Megan Coffee Crafts fabric. So all hers are kind of almost like one-off pieces. And it's this beautiful sky blue, which I've got the rest reserved for um, a summer cross-eyed cricket piece. Um, but I thought because the pot and shed was spring and yes. summery, this would be lovely. So there's my small start on this beautiful pattern and um yeah it's just a nice way of remembering the retreat yeah, and it's like a 2023 yeah. on it so yeah i'll just keep bringing this out on the 31st and put in as much i can on that day and then slowly over time it'll it'll yeah. be finished so yeah that's my start and a, a whip now now it's a whip yeah, yeah. It's a whip. <laughs> fabulous I haven't got round to starting that. I'm gonna have to I've got too many other bits and pieces. You want to do two now? Oh, I love, love this one. Right. So this is um, so this this has got a bit of a story as well. Oh, yeah. So this is when I think of autumn, which is a well-known pattern, Pontini, Pontini. So when we went to um, now then, Nimble Fimble. Yeah. I picked it up then and I started it. Mm -hmm. Made a right hash. <laughs> <laughs> right hash. That's the technical term. You realise there's a theme that goes on with my stitching as we go on. But um, I'm very um I'm so very tight. Fly knocking about I'm it. very tight with my material. <laughs> Too tight. <laughs> and I started stitching it in hand. Mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> and I ended up almost finishing it. Right, look at this. And it looks awful. It was the smallest thing ever. It looks awful. No, though. no, there's no fabric round it. It was, uh, I just fell out of love, didn't and you like finished it. it as and well. I, well, I hadn't quite Technically. finished it. Yeah. So when I, I when I went to the retreat, somebody had put some a freebie on the table oh, for yeah. some cashel linen. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty eight count. That previous was thirty two. Was that cashel as well? No, it looks um, very similar colour. Very, yeah, very similar, very similar. Anyway. It's much, much better now. I've redone it. It's upside down, but apart it's from that. It's upside down. <laughs> that. <laughs> right, so, ignore the loose threads. They've just got a few things. I've got yes, a few it does look better. I'll give you that. Oh, yeah. That's good. Is that back to front in the camera then? Or is yeah, it? towards it is to them. To them is that <laughs> But that is so, so much better. So the 28 count and working in a frame. 
is much better and I love it. I absolutely it's love it now. I love the colours. The colours are stunning. What colours? Is it just DMC, Mama? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a call for DMC. Beautiful. So... Oh, there's uh, buttons want, as well you can get. Yeah, I've got two buttons. They're still to go on. Um, they came with the, the pack as well. Great. From, um, Acorn, Nimble, then Chestnut. Then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So I am made up with it now. and Because I've got nothing to go in the hall for autumn. Um... The, the autumn piece goes in the kitchen, so and I wanted some some equipment. This this I was doing perhaps every night. I'd just pick up and do a few stitches. So it's even though it's a, a whip, it's sort of a very loose sort yeah. of whip. I've just done it as I've gone along or in the car or whatever. It's lovely. Yeah. So I'm very pleased with that. Really, I love this fabric it looks choice so much better. So what's this fabric called again? Cashel. Cashel linen. It's my guts. Um, and this it just never colour on it. Um, mm. But it's, it's just the, it's the cashel. Must be, yeah, just the There's a code on it somewhere, but I'm not sure. There's a code yeah, there. Yeah, just cashel. Yeah, must three be two eight one. one. Three two eight one cashel. Yeah. Gorgeous colour. Love Lovely it. Lovely like colour. And as you've noticed, I've decided to be a bit more generous. Or oh, it pops a bit too generous. <laughs> Yeah, but you've know, got, if you want to make it into a pillow or what it's is going, your plan? It's going to go in on the frame. Frame? Yeah. And um, those things I bought, which I'll show you afterwards, are going to put like... Oh, yeah. Around the bottom. Yes. You want me to grab them? Yeah, 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 yeah. We could do, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. So, we so obviously, our American viewers won't have this place. But I'm sure, yeah. like, Hobby Lobby and We went to the standing. range, or I went to the range, and... Your mum went plans. to the range, and now I've asked us to go back and get me these things. So, these are fall... Ribbons, the gold. So they're just obviously leaves. So I thought I may be able I'm to go put really one close, see, because yeah. you can't really see the leaf shape. So these yeah. would be great, wouldn't they, for pillows, making you know the yeah, trim. Yeah. yeah. Um, trim. I might put a trim. I'm not sure yet across the bottom of the framed piece. I'm not sure. I, I, I might. I'll just play around it's with so it. So beautiful. I also picked up some um, cording, which is uh, autumn colours of cording and it's orange and natural rope. Which I thought if you're hanging Beautiful. something be nice. And then I found these which I love. These are um Oh I've got like pumpkins as well, you know. Oh have they? No. The oh, pumpkins yeah. I bought. You. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then these little acorns. Oh, so if you're doing your little demonstrations or your bowls or yeah. displays. Because we, we have um around this area we get natural fir cones and conkers fall and so I've got a bag that Mama gave me that I put out them. every year. It's they're real. <laughs> um but these are just precious. Yeah. So yeah, 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 Mama's on a a mission now to get me some yeah so that's my um and we got i said oh we got some little pumpkins um they're actually showing them mama loves your gb mama loves your gb mama you were enabled us we we mama was at um hobby craft in the uk which is just our version of hobby lobby um and they have these little plush pumpkins and they're so cute so we've got some too <laughs> we have the beautiful all ready for autumn yeah so that was that one of my whips do you need to show another one? Do you want me to do another one? Yeah. Right, so the next one I'm going to do is one called Woodland Winter. Bear with, bear with. So... Is it in here? It is. Um, I have them in order. I'll just do it. So this is um, a pattern by Glendon Place. Mm. I love um, this one. So this is why I dropped everything in the summer to try and get some Christmas things done. Um, because I'm catching up, which I've been carrying all these years, but I haven't. So, so this is Winter Wonderland, I think it is. Wonderland, Woodland, Wonder. Woodland Wonder. Yeah, lovely. Always beautiful. And it's my first go at beading. <laughs> However, I put them in the wrong place. <laughs> but that's it was only a few, and it was just to have a practice. You enjoyed it though, didn't you? Yeah, like I love it. I love it. I love it. So, um, shouldn't be frightened of beading. It's really. It, it, it's, it's easy. It's easy. If it I really can do it, is, anybody yeah. can do it. It's easy. It's fun. Oh, and that's the wrong one. Hang on. So this is uh, one of your Elbezi frames. Oh, yes. Which I borrowed, and I'm actually getting on with it now. Oh. So excuse all the part threads. <laughs> Do you want to put it on free? Yeah. I love the um, antlers, the crinic. Oh, look at that, guys. What fabric are you doing on, Mama? This is on the call for fabric, which is earthen, 28 count, picture this plus. Gorgeous. And it's all the call for beads and... um got close for them. DMC. Have I got any specialities? No, so they're all is DMC. This for you, Mama? Who's this for? This is for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is all for me. <laughs> Um, this is my first go at the beading, 
I sent Lauren the photograph saying, look what I've done. And then she's sent so another proud. one. <laughs> she went, oh, no, hang on. It's wrong. It's in the wrong <laughs> place. <laughs> you see that? And also, also for the eagle eyed of you, I did this tree and I'm going down and I'm thinking, and down here, I've gone out by one hole. Oh, no. So around this bit, I'm going to have to frog. Oh. And I will frog it because all this is filled with beads as are the trees that oh, start here. Yeah. So they all need to be right or else you would spot it. Frog in a tree. Yeah. It's beautiful though, Mama. And I love this fabric. Yeah, earthen. earthen. Picture this plus. It's unusual, isn't it? It's like yeah. brown. Well, I've worked out though, because I've got other picture this plus, is that it's quite tight. Oh, is it? Yeah. Tight holes. Yeah, it's it's very mean. tight. And somebody else commented on that. A few people have said that. And I agree. Oh, you don't mind it too. Yes, I just got him. Where's he from? Do you remember? Etsy. <laughs> you got the seller's name? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. So I love it. I've got to go back and do all the cranic up here and finish up there. Isn't it gorgeous though? Yeah. So I'm hoping you see that fully framed at Christmas time. Yes. Uh, that'll be up in the lounge. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, before you know it. I know. That's lovely. But I bet show one of mine on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working towards more impressive as I go. Right, I did a smidgen, smidgen on eggs all around. Um, this is stitched on 28 count chrysalis cashel linen, 28 count. So this is what it'll look like when it's finished. That's another Glendon place. Yes, I just realised that. So last time you saw it, I had just started this egg and <laughs> obviously done all these the rounds the green so i've got these three and a bit eggs left to do really not that far but i do have beading um so all i managed this month was because normally i can do at least one egg a month but it was a pitiful effort and i just got halfway of that bottom egg that looks amazing i've not seen it for a little while yeah so you haven't seen it when i did i think i was up to doing some of this you haven't seen this one. Oh wow they're beautiful they're so sparkly so yes i have made some progress but if you watch my last video you'll see it's not much because i've not even completed the egg i'd already started last month so but the aim is to have that done for easter right yeah so, so as long as it's finished for easter yeah it's a beautiful piece i absolutely love the colors yeah um I think this Christmas castle linen is gorgeous. When that's framed in the dark frame, it looks fun. Yeah, I'm going to do a frame round it and then get like a circular mount mm. board to just highlight the circle. It's beautiful. It. But yeah, so I'm sorry it's not much further, but I, I, yeah, hopefully. It's having, it's not a priority you see at the moment compared to the secret stitching and Sleepy Hollow because obviously Easter's kind of far from my mind at this point. So we'll just do what we can on him. But yeah, he's looking lovely. It looks beautiful. Looking gorgeous, yeah. I've only got three more whips. How many have you got? One, two, three, four. You want to show on next, then? yeah. <laughs> so the next one is, um, let's get that out. I can find her. It's a Mirabilia. This is a big present for she who shall not be named. Um, oh, yes, I love this one. Woodland Goddess or wood, something? Wood, Cathedral Wood, Cathedral wood, wood Goddess. Goddess. And what's ironic is when I started watching the Lady Mama Bear Stitchery, um, and I went back right to her very first video, mm -hmm. the first thing she put up as a finish was, was this. this. Oh. So I thought that was meant to be. So, um, yes, a bit of a chronic nightmare. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I kid you not. You're enjoying it though, aren't you? I am. I, think you I am. Very quick. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get the beads in. It's, yeah. I'm, I'm probably two thirds through. Um, it actually. Half oh, this video is you bending down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hang on a minute. One sec. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, she's like a, whole, a headless. She's a headless, <laughs> headless woman. Headless woman. So I'm just. I'm actually worked out I'm going to run out of the silver, which is I'm a pain because I didn't ask for more than one spool. But I think it's my stitching with it or perhaps how I run it in to fix it. It's so absolutely gorgeous. 
So I'm hoping next time you see her, she'll have a head at least and she'll have some beads on it. Um, and this has to be framed by the end of January. So I'm hoping to finish by this year. Um, yeah, birthday's in February. Because yeah. if I'm honest, I, I don't do um, fancy ladies. They, they, not my thing. There's the odd one I do. I have seen that quite like a couple of the Halloween ones. Yes, you say in the witches. And um, the Father Christmas I like. Yes. And there's a couple of butterflies. I, I Nora think this Corbett's is butterflies. one of my favourites. Yeah, Nora Corbett butterflies. This yeah. is gorgeous though. I can see this even in your home. Look, this is lovely. But because of the colour she has in her room, then the teal, she's she has teal yeah. curtains and stuff. So she goes and changes the colours and stuff. So I just <laughs> she does <it>. often. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I'm sure it'll be okay when it's uh, all finished. It's absolutely gorgeous, Mama. What are you stitching it on again? Um, 32 count, uh, I think it's country, French country latte. Count country French latte yeah, linen. linen. It says it's Witchel. Now I'm a bit confused because when it the actual packaging came with Permin written mm. across it, but when you look, it says Witchel, and a lot of people complain about Witchel fabrics being too stiff. So I don't think it's the same as what the stitching on. I'll just see if I've got the. Um, yeah, this is lovely and soft. It might be because it's a Permin, maybe. So we came in that. So where does it say Witchel on the on the package on the here? Oh, on the actual pattern. Yeah. By Witchelt Imports. Unless they have one the yeah. same, or yeah. maybe Witchelt own that company, I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, it's per plan. minute, it's, come, and it, it's country French latte. 32 pounds. All the recommended, I didn't change anything because no. I'm not experienced enough to change it really. Stunning. Um, so hopefully she'll love that. She will. I mean, the plan is to, when Lauren's not here today, I'm going to finish, well, say finish, I'm going to, Start a lot of this time. is the, um, uh, what are those threads called? The special ones? Karen, 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 Karen water lilies are amazing. So they're so soft. Um, is that this stuff? That's here? the purpley green and the brown. Oh, the variegated. It's the variegated. Right. So there's, there's loads of the purpley green here. So I'm hoping to get most of that done today. Um, I should well finish it in yeah, time. I to think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you'll get to a point as well if you felt like you weren't, you just drop everything. So like me with Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, just... you have to drop things when you when you've got end point a deadline. Finish. Next year is a year of no presents for anybody apart from <laughs> myself. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> right, I'll do one next. Um, oh, so I've dropped something. I'll do uh, my, I've got two full coverages, so I'll do one of my full coverages. Um, I'll put a picture here of a mama. This is barging through, what it'll look like when it's finished. I know I normally do, uh, this is what it looked like last time shot, but I'm, I'm not going to bother this time because there's not much difference. <laughs> <laughs> and it's more work for my partner when there's not really much difference anyway. So last time you saw it, I had a triumph. I had finished the sky. Da -da. Yeah. So my goal was to just get some colour and start the tree. Oh wow! Here. Very minimal stitching. Um, it's more than it looks. That is the end. Yeah. So that's the end there. You always can see the colour of the sky better in your kitchen. So I do like coming mm -hmm. here for this. Um, so yeah, you know, while we're here, utilise it, guys. You can see the sky. So this is the bit I've done this rotation much less than i normally do but you can see i've started to build up some greens in that tree and that is the end of the piece so that's how and you're two over two two over one sorry aren't you? yeah two over one so that's how big it's going to be um but yeah it just saturates my color a bit more and that's just my the woman's preference. a warrior <laughs> <laughs> there are there are reasons <clears throat> when i did the father christmas which i don't know if you remember that was the first, yes, that uh, one. Woodland Santa, wasn't it? So mine was one over one. Mm -hmm. So for the dark colours, because there's a lot of red and teals, it was fine. But when I came to the white of the snow at the bottom of the picture mm -hmm. and I washed it, I could still see some of the grid lines. Yeah. And I had to keep going to try and get rid of them. Now, yeah. if I've had two over one, I probably, two, yeah, two yeah. Over, I wouldn't have had that. Like, I could almost get away sometimes yeah. with not washing it. Obviously, I always do because it's a well worked on piece, usually, yeah. for coverage. But 
yeah so you've got the outline so i'm just going to keep plodding along and get this corner done by the way i never mentioned someone asked me this and said oh, oh are we doing this now what what does you know adding, adding these bits of extra fabric and it's so random because i've got a spooky one and i've got all it is 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 that it was a bit of a tight fit um for my q snap this piece so i added some fabric on i just searched some fabric not actually level down a bit yeah isn't it? so that i can work in my q snap that's Better. the only reason you don't normally need to do this i just did it because i had to because the fabric was a bit tight but yeah that's uh where it's up to not much progress i'm sorry guys i know it's not very interesting to look at but yeah it will be though to. it will be yeah, that's again 25 count easy guide. Artist is Chris Dunn and designer is um, Sarah of Pain Free Crafts. So that's that one. Next one. Next one. And there is a theme going on here with cock ups. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm doing a long dog. Oh, yes. A well known well, long dog. You belong to me. I showed him you starting this uh, months ago. Yeah. I, I dropped this because I was working on the Greyhound and yeah. things had to be done for summer and things had to be finished for spring. Mm -hmm. So I dropped everything and dropped this as well. I didn't like it on what it was on. It was on country, uh, vintage country mocha. mocha. Yeah. And I'd done it in black. Yes. And I'd started in the middle with the pyramids. It, it wasn't that minute. I just wasn't sure. You weren't about feeling it. it, were you? I weren't feeling it. No. And I, I, so I, I, but then I had the itch to start and mm -hmm. go back to a, a, a long dog sampler. I'm desperate to get one. So I went totally Restart. off piste. <laughs> Restarted it. Restarted it on different fabric. I haven't. I haven't frogged the, the uh, pyramids. They'll still be there when yeah. I'm dead. You'll still find them. <laughs> just like the pyramids. But what I discovered. <laughs> It's great, this hobby. There's so many different things you discover. So I discovered the oh, yeah. silky thread that everybody Ooh. is using. 12 weight in a colour that mimics a bit of sandy, Egyptian-y colour yeah. to me. Um, and you only need one strand, and it's equivalent to two strands over two. Brilliant. What's the name of the, the colour, Mum? Um, the the colour is... 4011. 411. Oh, it's CAO2776. There's two lots of C numbers on it. CAO2776 yeah. or 4011. So, but the colours in Sulky Thread are amazing. And there's another there's another girl on um, that she haven't mentioned, um, and she's quite new to stitching, and she's got the loveliest southern... American voice called <laughs> Text Tilly. Oh, Text Tilly. And she has a whole, behind her, she's got a whole drawer, I'm sure, <laughs> silky threads and everything. The colours are amazing in them, so if you ever get a chance. So, this is where I'm up to. Ooh! It looks much better. Are you more happy now? I'm much happier. Yeah. Apart from when we went to the retreat, because I was a bit fed up with what I was doing, I wasn't concentrating. Yeah. I decided to go back and go to the top to finish. And when we got home, I was having a mad panic because I thought I was going to run out of fabric before I got to <laughs> the end of the frame. And I almost did. Oh, so that is all I've got. But that's I've actually fine. edged it over to yeah, stop so it fraying. Got... So I've got a little bit more. Yeah. But that's why it looks like I've a little bit gone off piece but where she's got. You can surge, can't you? Then I wanted frame, to do then. the eye. I saw the eye, so I thought I'll just do the eye whilst I'm here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, hold it up a bit more, Mum. So yeah. you can see it. Isn't that gorgeous? A great colour. I think it's amazing colour. The fabric looks like is... sand, wet sand. You yeah, know, like, yeah, the fabric is there's two colour count Belfast Winter Moon uh, linen, and I got it from Peakside Needlecraft. Oh, look at the eagle. Oh, it's stunning. I love the variegation. Oh, it's yeah. Beautiful. And as a warning, which you probably all know, and I think. Can be oh, stitches keeper. did this with pattern keeper. There is um glitch. It's where the the pages overlap, so you go from obviously one page to the next. There's a row missing on pattern keeper. So the only way I could do it to remind myself was to print out those pages. Is it missing or duplicating? It's missing. Missing. Right. It's missing. So you end up with a row less and everything looks a bit yeah. yeah. And it goes all the way down, I think. So you just basically watch it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. when you get to a page break. Yeah. And I've not done this for a few days fine. because of the other things I'm doing. Um but when I get into it I do feel it and it occasionally I, I, I do mess up. So I I'm at this I think one of these I'm to recount but 
I will get the. It's. I just. I think it's beautiful. I think it's one of these. Stunning. I wanted it for my lounge to t replace the two thousand cross stitch I did, which I hit. <laughs> um, Beautiful. I don't know what you're about. No, an heirloom piece. I know it's. Oh, it's no, it's just not me anymore. But <laughs> I just need to um, get that framed and up. But yeah. I can't see me finishing that. I've got a wonderful goal finished by end of year. I don't think that ain't going to happen. With you, you'll I've finish got. it, but you just might do it as quickly as you want it. That's all. Yeah. You've made great progress in a restart there, Mum. Yeah. Beautiful. I love that colour. It is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. It is. There's some beautiful um, peacock colours that green that go to blue, and yeah. um, there's some ink circles patterns that I'm dying to do on them. So anyway, I think that's been one of your favourite finds this year. Is the different, is some more threads and variegated. You've really enjoyed that. You've like gone, oh, can't yeah. how beautiful this thread is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's gorgeous, beautiful. Right, another one from me. We're doing the other full coverage. I feel like mine are boring in comparison to yours. They're me? not. They're not. They're not. They're not. They are, no, because I'm just stuck in a certain position with mine. Right. My next one is Simple Pleasures. Another Chris Dunn. Pain Free Crafts. Stitched on 25 Count Easy Guide. And it is stitched two over one. Fine. Again, because I'm a nutter. Now, I have done a bit more. I've done about 800 oh, wow. stitches on this. But oh, that looks amazing. But the finished, so. That does look good. Just get my, let me get my bearing, sorry. So this is the, I kind of concentrated on this dark up here so that you've got more of the guide of this. This is where the, the rest of this hay barrel is going to be. Um, and someone said, do I spy snow on the window? And I'm, you're right, there's little sort of snow drops because um, it's snowing outside. That's beautiful. It's gorgeous, this piece. The the best colours I found work with the full coverage are like the browns the and darks. the darks. Yeah. So that's why I think Wise Old Owl looks so good, just because that of the colours. that put you off getting, doing a pain free cross, a, 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 a Chris done now with Sky, because it doesn't... Well, I haven't done the rest of it. I know, it will look different so when you've I got think, the characters I in it. I think when it's all yeah. in, because the rest of it's got dark greens, I think that will look great. Yeah, um, yeah. And the sky's almost just like there, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's just yeah. an afterthought. But yeah, so not a lot of progress like I'd normally do, but I have put in about 800 stitches. That's and amazing. I'm really impressed with that. That's good. This is looking nice. I think it's about 7.70% done now. And are um, you still doing what... I suggested that you do like a hundred a day on something or do you not do so that So I was doing that on barging through and then because of this month and the yeah. way it's been, because I've been sick and I've had the secret stitching, um, the daily kind of hundreds gone out the window right, okay. at the moment. Um, I will fill you all in on my secret stitching. Please bear with me. This is why I'm a little bit, um, yeah, a bit, bit slow with my progress at the moment, but it will be all worthwhile. <laughs> I'll show you when I'm done. Right, that's it. Uh, you've got. I've got a couple. Oh, you've got a couple. Well, I've only got one more. So if you want to show your two, and then I'll finish okay. on mine. So this is another. This is another present. So she who shall not be named uh, keeps complaining that she never gets anything <laughs> stitched for her. Obviously, she doesn't know that she's getting the big. Yeah, she keeps saying this, and in the background we're going, we're stitching, we're stitching for yeah. you. <laughs> So this is obviously the one that I think everybody's. So on. this is her Christmas present. Oh, I that bit. Let me just check this out. Your sh should this, this is, is her Christmas. Christmas. It's also for me, as in I want to do it, but I'll have to. I'll You're going to do another one. one for you. So obviously it's the reindeer by Cottage Garden Samplings, which I think the whole world has been doing. Mm -hmm. But I learned something very interesting at one o'clock in the morning. I'll tell you in a minute. One o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where I'm up to so far. Ah. It is stunning. It's beautiful. And then that's, this is another um, mess up that I did. And I've not got it with me. But I started this on 36 count. Picture this plus, And I think it's, is it Valor that it should be called call for? Mirage. Mirage. Right. One over one. And that's the one that I did the leg the wrong colour. <laughs> the inside of the leg. And it's so small. It's I felt it very tight that I wasn't feeling it. So I actually... Drop that. I've not unpicked it. I'm going to keep it for me. I mean, I'll, I'll read you the pattern again for myself next year. But this is on some coffee craft, craft fabrics, which I actually tried to go dye a little bit darker. Mm. Um, I failed miserably because the writ dye, which I got, which I didn't realise, <laughs> is for synthetic fabrics, not for oh, linen. No. So that's why it wasn't taken. But it's made the white in this a little bit duller. Yeah. Oh, it looks fine. But it actually is lovely. And it's lovely, lovely to stitch on. So is this, what, what was the one o'clock in the morning thing? Right, so 
the other morning, well, because I have some problems with insomnia at times, <laughs> I go onto my iPad and watch a YouTube and I watched Suki the Brown Eye Stitcher, which is something I haven't mentioned, but I do watch her. And she's done this pattern. And she said, somebody corrected her on her Instagram to say, do you realise they've mischarted this here? So all the light colours, the 945, shouldn't be 945. It should be the uh, bright leaf, which is the overdyed. She said, no, I should have realised that. Because when you look at the, the picture at the top, there is no, no 945 on the top. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it anybody, just looks almost like snow. Yeah. On the so animal. I'm actually not going to frog this. For, I love it. I, I yeah, I'm going to keep it as it is for now. If it was white, it would be this one, chalk. But it's actually not. It, it's the it's the pink. So she's referring to the antlers. So you see, so how on the antlers have got no lightness above them, but on mamas there is because yeah. that's the way the chart is. But versus the front model, but it's an there. error, and on their website apparently. So I'm stitching, my, I'm, th I'm watching this program thinking, I can't believe I've just watched that when I'm doing it. <laughs> and she's just told me when I I'm clapping the morning. I actually really like it and I think it creates, I think it just gives brightness to the light. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to frog it. And if no. you've already done it in 945, uh, somebody out there, I wouldn't frog it. But it's up to you guys what you do. Um, but it looks beautiful. You can't, I don't think it looks wrong. It's not like you've got no, a bright no. red or well, something. Well, she won't see very well anyway with the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> She, she was like, oh, yeah, she yeah. won't know. No, she, she won't, won't know. know. Oh, it's But gorgeous. I do love, and, it, and so this, this fabric, one for I don't know why some fabrics are lovely to stitch with, but the coffee fabrics oh, I love, love. are that lovely. This is the one with no name. That's the only problem because they've really got no soft, name. It's really but, but, but stiff enough. Yeah. For, and that was sitting in me upstairs, up, and, I, and I changed, I'm glad I changed it from 36 count, and I went to the 32 and I, I love it. I love it. So that's. So this is 32 count Megan Coffee Cast fabric, but you've then over dyed it with wrong dye. Yeah, like, and it's hardly <laughs> changed. Hardly changed. So if you changed. want to recreate that. Yeah, but it's, it's just a grey. It's um, lovely. It would look like on a pale green. And are you going to do the same fabric when you stitch it? I gonna... might use what I've started with, yeah. but it's only one thread. So I don't know. I, I like, like the, the two. two. I like the two. I, I'll see when it comes to it. Gorgeous. So this has to be done, as so as the mirror billiard. So they're the two things that I, I'm just trying to... Yeah. You're getting there. I'm made up with it. I am made up with it. Do you want me to do my last one? Okay, did I, have I got... Oh, I've got one line. Yeah. <clears throat> right, so my last weight that I worked on, and this is the one I've put most effort into, really, is uh, Cross Eye oh. Cricket oh, Sleepy see Hollow. So if you've not watched me before, I've done all this already. Um, last month, I showed where I got up to, I showed you I had like one and a half or two pumpkins done and literally the one single stitch outline of a porch. That was it. So my goal this month, August, was just to get the porch completely done. Back stitch, everything. It's almost like a full coverage. Yeah. Inside the porch is not one like spare. <laughs> X, you know, everything's filled in. So it was actually quite a bit of work with the pumpkins. Um, so I've already got it folded where... So I'll just show you what I did this month. So this is the, the bit oh, I got up to look. in the last panel. It looks good on camera, doesn't it? It's Beautiful. so bright. Beautiful. So the porch... I love I did. this colour choice of... The Belfast haunted, linen. Haunted. Yeah. It's 32 mm. count the haunted Belfast linen. Um, so, yeah, I did all the reef and there's back stitching in the windows and on the pumpkins there's some three quarter stitches and i didn't have these three pumpkins done last time all the birds so i've done all that and now the goal is is that you see this big roof which is predominantly this is a variegated floss um it's the london fog i believe my week's style works so i'm just kind of running back and forth every night trying to put in as much as i can i'll have to take a little break to do the windows and the bit of chimney but other than that it's mainly just one variegated floss so my goal september is pretty much from tomorrow pick that up and do not stop not doing some today well i might do some tonight yeah and yeah. um, tonight or tomorrow is to get that london fog <laughs> floss and just run with it until it's finished and i need it finished by uh the last week oh squirrel yeah uh, last week <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> squirrel just ran across mum's garden um basically yeah i want i've got a week off work end of september so i want to get 
that so if it takes a whole month of september that's what it is and and what i'll do is, is just come back to you guys first of october and just show you this you know because it'll be a huge finish yeah. and i'm going to try and Can finish you open it up and show the other bits oh yeah sorry just remind course. me what it looks like so this is it as a whole oh wow <laughs> wow it's really effective this piece yeah the colors the um the cross eye cricket designer vicky hastings i believe it is yeah she the colors she's chosen for this it's just brilliant um, is there anything on the um, gravestones? Do you... No, they're just plain. They're just plain. Yeah, so you could put plain. rest in peace on this. You could too, I guess. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I've got my little gaps in between because I'm going to... I actually just bought and I've received... I've bought some black uh, suede ribbon um, just off Amazon because um, to connect it at the back, it suggests black suede, I guess. So it, you can't really see it because it's black. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And I found some really cool woodsy... A haunted woods fabric for the back because obviously the town of Sleepy Hollow is set around the woods. Um, so I thought, well, this is a town, so the backing fabric of the woods. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's just greys, blacks, and like moon symbols and owls and stuff. So, um, and then I'm gonna try and make my own cord, like purples, greys, black, something like that mixed up. So, that's my task um, because I want it up first of October for the spooky season. But we're getting there. Yeah, I think it's amazing. He's lovely, isn't he? It's a lot of work, that, isn't it? This, this is it's a not lot just of work. the work I... in stitching, there's a lot of finishing work in that. When did I start this? I started this. It's almost like a year old now. Yeah, you started it last year, didn't you? Wise old, but it, it will be after Wise old now, definitely. Barging through, Winds of Willows. Oh, so is that it? Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, I started it Saturday the 24th of September. So basically, it's going to have took me a year. And apart from like, you know, uh, you know, the odd month, I have kind of been really diligent with it. So it just shows you how long the, I mean, I'm quite an organist stitcher and it's took me a year to stitch that. Yeah, but you've had, you've had a couple of big starts with your, with your yeah. own coverage. Yeah, and it, uh, up until recently when I dropped a whip, it only had five days a month. So if you did like five times 12, yeah, you know, it's yeah. only, it's, it's took about 60, 65 days to stitch it. Yeah. Um, which if you just did it in one, in two months, that would actually be quite quick. It's just, yeah. That's my whips. And I've got the last oh, one. You never showed them this that I bought you no, for Christmas. No, no. So Lauren bought me this a couple of years ago, Christian Dalbeck's uh, winter book. She also bought me the summer one. Yes. Which I've not, I've not stitched anything out, uh, out of them until now. Yeah. Um, I won't show you those patterns, but they have, it has some amazing patterns in. Really I cute. I can open it up really. It's quite, if you hold it there, I'll just try and... Make sure you don't show a pattern. No, they're at the end. All right. So the different size things as well. It's all in German, unfortunately. <laughs> unless so, you're German. Unless you're German, <laughs> then it's fine. Uh, to our German viewers. Yes. Um, but it's, it's easy enough to understand what, what, what you're trying to yeah, get at. Yeah. And the one I'm doing, if I can just go to that one. I think it's here, Mama. I think I've got it. Yeah. So I'm doing winter. So I did um, the Cricket Collection winter. You mm -hmm. lent me that pattern when I first started yes. getting back into it. And I hated, hated just my fabric choice. Again, I cut the fabric too short. Love the pattern. Love the pattern. <laughs> I, I did love the pattern, but I liked, I wanted something a bit more simple. Mm -hmm. I want to see the word at the end of the day. So, um, I decided I'd try this this time this yes. year. Yes. So this is where I'm up to. You can go find this lady on Instagram, by the way, and it links to her German website. Oh, German and it's, website. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I managed. I don't speak German, and I managed to still buy yeah. two books and have them shipped. So yeah. So I'm so if I ignore the bit on this side because I've I, I've miss, messed up a little bit on the on the bird. So you can oh. just about see wind wind. There's no R. <laughs> I did the deer. So here is a bird and the branch goes right across. So on the pattern, it's because I can't speak German, but I can put it into Google and stuff. I think some of the very tiny stitches, which create some of the detail and the, and the strange shapes are one over one. Mm -hmm. And they're tiny because this is 32 count. Yeah. So so the deer's got one over one, but just round, just round the edging, just to give them a bit more shape. So everything else is two over two. So there's more, with this bit here, there's some mushrooms. They've got to be done. There's a, the tree's got a star. It's there's lots of embellishments to go on. So there's lots of um, snowflakes. I can't see it on the pan. Um, 
Oh, lots of snowflakes, lot of lot of white extra stitches to go on top of the letters. And on some of them, I'm going to do, I think they're going to be French knots. But on some of them, I'm actually going to, I've decided I'm going to bead instead of the French knots. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So that it will be a bit easier. So if you look at the pattern, so there's a star above that. There's obviously white snowflakes all up the tree. Um, there's a few stars here. Then the R has got, which I haven't actually stitched yet. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a, a gold snowflake. Yeah, there's... there's a lot more detail in the letter R. So I've got all that to do, but that should be up and in the hall, hopefully for Christmas. Um, Beautiful. For myself. Nobody else. <laughs> and it's, what do we say the what fabric was? It on, um, 32 count Belfast linen, opalescent pearl. Flecked snow. Flecked snow by Lakeside. Lakeside Needle Needle Crafts. Crafts, we bought it from. Yeah. 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 If you want to go up really close, you might be able to see the opalescent if you like shimmy it a bit. Shimmy? Or <laughs> <laughs> like this. Can you see that? You might. Be. It is you beautiful. It. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Really yeah. glittery. It's gorgeous. And I gave myself a big piece of fabric. Yes. No little. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll use up some of that fabric for something else in the future. Is that all your whips? That's all my whips. I've got some purchases, but I don't know if I should show them. But as in like some artisy. Oh, yeah. On the purchases, if you want to see them. What, on your pattern keeper? Yeah, because I'm yeah. nuts. Have to be careful because we're getting up to an hour as well. Okay. Let's... I'm glad we only end up being six minutes at the beginning. Yeah. I don't, I just wish you can get these, these on. It's just for memory on the um, uh, computer, so it sometimes won't want to make the video. So I've got a hankering to do um, a tiger um, and I can't find what I've got here. I'm you need to go back up here. Go back up here to do that one. Um, and a dragon. So the first one is a dragon. So Artisty had a great. Uh, view PDF. Oh, look at him. This is like the pain free crafts one, isn't it? Very similar. It won't there. Ah, he's gorgeous. But when I did this Spanky. today, I only realised he's got two hundred thousand <laughs> stitches. <laughs> Not <for> but, <laughs> that will be. I think I might be going for ten stitch on that mm -hmm. because I, I definitely on eighteen count because I want him only about eleven by thirteen inches. The colours oh, are gorgeous. The, the colours are gorgeous, and that's a no background one by yeah. Artisy. She so, a cool fabric. That yeah. One. So Artisy had uh, a, um, a sale, and I couldn't resist. I mm -hmm. think that was another twelve o'clock at night purchase, something like that. But he's so isn't he? Isn't he? He's stunning. Uh, well, he is to me. I'll see. It's everybody's own choice. And then the other ones that I did was this one. This is the tiger. Sumatran. What's it called? Sumatran. Sumatra tiger. Sumatra tiger. Ah, oh. and that's from Artisy. Yeah, thirty thousand stitches in that one. So it's not too bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you stitch the thing and it's a hundred thousand in the in the in the Christmas guy, it's not too bad. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's beautiful. And they were very good because I actually ordered two by mistake instead of oh. one. And they re refunded me. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice that's of them. Good. And then the last one. So this is to go either side of the, in, in the, in the lounge. Um, this is Sashi. Oh, mini high. Is that what they said? Mini yeah. high. So the, the actual, I'm not sure about this one, but the tiger is a crop. Oh, right. Okay. So it's a crop of a bigger, bigger pattern. Picture. Right, yeah. I get you. Yeah. <clears throat> He's lovely. He is beautiful. So, hard to say. Watch this space. Yes. And I'm not showing sure anything else on there because it's. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you very much for letting us share with you as usual. Yes. Um, it was lovely to be back. I really enjoyed it. This is why, though, if Mum had been here, there was absolutely no point me filming. Today. If I hadn't been here. Yeah, because you're, it's been a while since they've seen yours. You've got yeah. some new stuff, but yeah. mine have not got a lot. So, yeah, so... <clears throat> Um, obviously, Mama will probably take a break next video. I'll come back and show you, hopefully, Sleepy Hollow finished. Even if that's all I show you on a, like, a 10 minute video, yeah. I'll do that. Um, and then <laughs> that'll be first of October video already. And yeah. then, yeah, I don't know. We'll work out what we're doing for the last video of the year, Christmas. We might do a bit of a review. Yeah. Review I was going to show them what we're going to work on in September. I was going to do the spooky house. You know, the one you bought me that I've not touched. I'm going to start that as a not Halloween one. Have you got it with you now? No, it's upstairs. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, next, <laughs> next time she's here, we'll show you if yeah. you've started. She's got another new start on the way. 
That'll be a new start, and then I'm going to pick up the Halloween whip yeah. from Drawn Thread. That we I was going to start that we were going on. Yeah, I don't think you can do it. I know, so. there's too much going on. Right, okay. I will, yes, I will, bear with me, guys. I will fill, fill you in on my uh, secret stitch in life um, at some point. So, yeah, um, thank you. Thank you very much, as usual. We hope you all um, enjoy the dying embers of summer. Um, welcome autumn and did um, we thank our subscribers or your subscribers not mine <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yes yes we haven't just said thank you then didn't that's I? good yeah i can't remember well if we haven't thank you very much <laughs> um no uh, we love all the fact that you guys watch and comment um on our craziness yeah yeah <laughs> Like mother, like daughter. Mm -hmm. um, no, thank you so much for all your support over the years. I do really appreciate it. And um, thank you for welcoming Mammy. All your comments were lovely the last time. Oh, yeah, you've been really, really I nice. I always forward to me. them to her. Yes, she does. It's I do. Really nice. Yeah, I said, this person said this, this person said this, yeah. Mama, for you. And I let her know. So, yeah, yeah well, stay safe, guys. Yes, yeah, stay safe. Yes, uh, look after each other. Be kind. Speak to you all soon. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.